Hey guys, I'm Mike Caffro, and today at UTV Underground, we're gonna be walking you through how to properly change the coolant in your UTV. I'm gonna show you how to flush that cheap, toxic coolant that comes stock in your UTV and get you set up with engine ice that will enhance the performance and longevity of your UTV. Always remember, proper maintenance is far less expensive than making those costly repairs. You can extend the life and performance of your UTV simply by changing your coolant at least once a season for optimum results. For racing and high performance conditions, twice a season is best. Regular maintenance will keep your cooling system from pouring corrosive sludge, scale, and possible cavitation which ultimately can result in leaks and failure. The cleaner you keep your cooling system and the fresher you keep your coolant, the better it will perform by removing heat from your vital engine components. With the demands of today's high performance turbo UTVs, having a well-maintained cooling system is critical. I'm gonna be changing out the stock coolant in my Polaris Turbo S pre-runner car to engine ice high performance coolant. I pre-run thousands of miles in the heat of the Baja Desert in this car, so I want the performance and reliability that Engine Ice offers. All right, let's get started. Here's what you're gonna need to make this project a lot easier. Here's the tools and the supplies you're gonna need for this job. You're gonna need a small quarter inch ratchet with a wobble extension on it with an eight millimeter socket for the bleeder hole on the motor. You're gonna need a nut driver with a seven millimeter socket on it for the hose clamp, a funnel, and it's always nice to have a pair of gloves and a rag handy. We're gonna be flushing this system with some vinegar and distilled water, and then adding our engine ice. You're also gonna need a catch bin. I like to use a tray like this. It'll hold at least two gallons, and it's big enough to catch any excess because this can be a messy job. Keep in mind the amount of fluids you're gonna be using is gonna depend on your vehicle. For flushing the coolant system, we're gonna use a 50-50 blend of white vinegar and distilled water. Let's break down what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna to start by draining the existing stock fluid in this car. Then we're going to flush the system with a 50-50 vinegar and distilled water mixture. Then we're gonna be replacing everything with engine ice high performance coolant. So we're gonna start by removing the hose clamp on the lowest hose on your cooling system to drain the coolant. So obviously you can see this can be a messy endeavor. So we're gonna let this drain for a second. I'm gonna go to the front of the car and just undo the cap on the radiator to allow the flow so nothing vapor locks in there. Once you have the majority of the coolant drained, we're gonna go ahead and put the hose back on with the hose clamp, tighten it all down and then fill the system up with vinegar and water. Nice thing about this funnel is you could overfill it and just kind of wait for it instead of trying to guess how much it's gonna hold. So once we have our tank filled up, we're gonna remove our funnel and put our radiator cap back on and run the car to get the flush throughout the cooling system. I'm gonna run the car for a minute, get the car up to temperature, shut it off, and then go ahead and drain the flush that we have in there.
Once you're done flushing the whole system out, we're gonna take our mixture of coolant, vinegar, and water, and we're gonna fill a container here so we can transport it to a proper waste site. So we're gonna transport this. Make sure you clean out any of your bins that you use for coolant, especially if you have any pets or anything like that, because it will kill them. Finally, we're gonna be filling the car with engine ice performance coolant and bleeding the system, and we should be good to go after that. Lastly, we're gonna bleed the system on this car. It's a very important step uh, in making sure that your car does not overheat because you could have an air bubble in the system if not. Um, on this particular unit, it's back. There's a little eight millimeter bolt just above the exhaust. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get to, but we're gonna utilize our wobble ratchet with an eight millimeter socket on the end. You should only have to crack this a little bit and let the air purge out until there's some fluid coming out and then tighten it back up. Now that I've got the car all bled and filled up, we're gonna run it for a little bit, check our coolant levels once more, and other than that, we should be good to go. This product should definitely enhance your performance of the vehicle and also help you with longevity. Go to engineice.com for more information or ask for engineice at your local off-road shop.